In this video, we're going to install a script that requires that we set up the database with data manually rather than going through a whole install process. We're going to install one from Hotscript. Hotscript's called Simple Notes. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this. Okay, so here it is. And we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to unzip it. You can use extract. I'm going to use 7-zip this time because it's a lot quicker. And extract files. Okay, and there it is. Okay, now we have S note here. Now we have two things. We have a help here that will walk us through the install process. And this is our SQL file for our database. Like I said, we're going to have to manually set up the data. Okay, so what we're going to do is first we're going to go and set up our database and then we're going to come back and upload this. So this is much the same as before. We're going to go to our cPanel or wherever you set up your databases. Okay, and then we're going to go to the database wizard. And now we're going to set up notes. Okay, so I'm just going to call it notes. And notes. And then I'm going to use the password generator again. And create user. And then all privileges. And next step. Okay, now let's go to Notepad. Okay, I'm going to paste in my password here. And then my username and my database name, I again set them up the same. So copy and then paste them in. If you name them differently, then put them in like so. Okay, so we now have that. Now what we need to do is bring the data into the database. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the control panel. We're gonna go down to phpMyAdmin. Okay, now I have a number of databases on my server. I'm gonna pick the one that we just set up called Notes. Now, what we need to do is go to import. And then what we do is we browse for that SQL file that I just showed you. This one, snote.sql. So we need to browse to that location. Okay, and then we grab the SQL file and open. Okay, and now all we have to do is click go. Okay, and it created the data tables that we need in there. Okay, so now what we need to do is open up FileZilla again. Okay, and then here we are again. And here's my S note, so I'm going to go inside there. And then I'm going to, I can just hit reconnect if I'm connecting to the same place I was before. Otherwise, I can put the credentials in or go to my site manager. I'm just going to reconnect here. Okay, so these are the files I need to upload. Now, if I upload them into the root, then that's where, it, of course, it would be connected. I'm going to put it into a directory. I'm just going to create it on this side. I'm going to call it Notes. Okay, then we go to Notes, and then we upload all of this. We don't need to upload the SQL file. So let's upload that. Okay, now it's a good idea to go to where you get your script and go and see if they have installation instructions. Okay, and they do here. It says execute snote.sql on your MySQL database. We just did that. Copy all files to the server directory of your choice. We did that. Modify database connection details in the global definition section of snote.php. Okay, so we could do this on either side. We could open the folder and do it over here or we can do it on the server side. I'm going to do it over on this side. I'm just going to do an open, or let's do an edit actually. Now, we need to go to the global definitions, which is right here. You'll see here we have our database host. Now, we already know from last time 
that this was called localhost. Okay, our database name. Okay, so we go back to our notepad session now. Okay, so we copy this. Okay, our username is the same because that's how I created it, but you would put whatever you chose in there. And then our password. Okay, so back to our notepad session again. Grab our password here. Okay, and then we would leave this alone here. Now, we just save this and close. Now we're going to upload. Now you see, when we saved it, it detected that it needs to upload it. So click Finish Editing and Yes, and it's going to upload that for us. Okay, now the next step, it said we need to go to snoteindex.php on our server. So we'll just key that in up here. Okay, and here we are. I've gone to the my domain name slash notes slash snotesindex.php. Okay, so it's installed. Uh, if you can click on the on the different things here, okay, I don't know actually know how this script works, but. Okay, anyway, the script's installed. That's how you install this particular script. It's not the most useful script I've ever seen, but that is the process. In some scripts, you're going to need to populate the database first, and you're going to need to edit the script file to point it properly to your database. Okay, so with those two examples, you should now be able to install pretty much any script on your server.